All right, guys, looking at lesson five. Ooh, making a sweet squiggly mark there for you. Um, number two, so the second problem on your homework packet this week. Concrete building blocks weigh 28 pounds each. Using B for the number of concrete blocks and W for the weight, write two equations that relate to two variables. One should begin with W equals, and the other one should begin with B equals. So to help understand this just a little more clearly, I think it would be helpful to sketch a little bit of a table. Uh, we're going to put our two variables, B and uh, W, for number of blocks and weight. And we know that they weigh 28 pounds each. So that means 28 pounds for one. So one block weighs 28 pounds. So easy enough, our constant of proportionality is multiplied by 28 because they're 28 pounds apiece. And so when I write my first equation to find out what W, the weight of the blocks are, we just take the number of blocks, which is B, and we multiply it by 28. So to show that, we have 28B. And what that does is that tells us what W equals. And once we have that equation written, we can use our little trick to swap the letters and do the uh, inverted version of this where we find out what B equals. So to work backwards and find out what B was, to go from the left side or right side to the left side, we wouldn't multiply by 28, we would multiply by 28's reciprocal, which is a 28th. So your equation should look as such, B equals a 28th of W. And that's it for number two. So let's jump right on into number three since that was pretty short. A store sells rope by the meter. The equation P equals 0.8L represents the price P in dollars of a piece of nylon rope that is L meters long. So this is money right here, and this is length in meters. All right, the question is, how much does the nylon rope cost per meter? Well, anytime they ask you a question like that, how much is it costing per meter? They're really just asking you for the constant of proportionality. You're paying 0.8 for each meter length because if that L was 1, then the price would be 80 cents. This is another way to write 80 cents. So the cost per 1, you know, you could set it up in another table if that helps you. Uh, if I, the price that I would pay for 1 meter would be, if I put a 1 in L's place, that would be 0.8 or the same thing as 80 cents. Since these are represented in dollars, 0.8 is 80 cents. So how much does one meter cost? That would be the constant of proportionality, which is 80 cents. And then how long is a piece of nylon rope that costs a full dollar? Well, that would be when the price is equal to one whole dollar. And we know that we can multiply the length times 0.8 to get the price. But to work backwards, we would have to multiply by the reciprocal of 0 0.8. And I showed you guys this the other day, I think it was Tuesday, on how you can take a calculator and convert it into a fraction form. I mean, really, 8 tenths, when you say it, you've got the fraction anyway. So it's 8 tenths, which reduces to 4 fifths. So 4 fifths is what 8 tenths is equivalent to. But we want the reciprocal of that because we're working backwards. So we're going to multiply by 5 fourths to work our way back from the dollar. So we do a dollar times five fourths and we'll have our answer. So one whole dollar times five fourths. That should be really easy because anything multiplied by one is itself. So the answer here is by fourths, but they probably want it in a length that's a decimal. So let's convert that to one and a quarter. So 1.25. How long is it? It's 1.25. 1.25 meters, and that's it.